Welcome to another vlog. If you are new here, hi, my name is Christina Kay. We're doing a little radio haul packing trip announcement kind of a vlog today. So normally I wear Mickey ears, which these are not. I was gonna wear these today, but they're just looking a little sad and I feel like they need some TLC and it is super breezy. Has this spring been breezy by you guys? Cause it has been so windy here on Long Island. So I don't want anything to happen to those. So I figured these are good. These are tight. I'm feeling them. So I feel like if anything happens to them, I won't be as devastated. Um, but I'm still festive because we have a big Easter event. It's called the Egg Scramble at Adventureland, which is like a little park here on Long Island. They have coasters and they've got like a bunch of little games and it's a bunch of our listeners coming. I work for Walk 97.5 and a bunch of other stations. So that's what we're going to go do first. I have the trip announcement coming in this video. I have some really cool stuff to show you that I'm packing for this trip. Um, so I can't wait to show you that. We've got a lot of things. It's Easter. There's a lot going on. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Uh, all the Disney vlogs are finally up. They will be in the description box below. Thank you for your patience. We are repping some Disney though today, even without the ears. This is the lounge play I usually take to Egg Scramble. This was a box lunch exclusive. I love this guy. It's bigger than a lot of the other lounge flies. Also going to be answering some interesting questions you guys have been sending me to. I feel like this is a good fit for that. As always, if you ever have any questions, you can hit me up on Instagram. Always love chatting with you guys there. So we'll do that in this video as well. I'm also testing out a tinted SPF today um, that I haven't worn in a minute and I forgot how it wears. So I figured with the wind running around with the kitties and stuff, if this works this is what I'm packing on the trip. So it's a trial day too. I really got to pack today. Um, okay. We've been, we've been stalling. Let's go to, let's go hang out with the fam at X Scramble. Welcome to Adventureland. That's my favorite coaster here. Turbulence kind of gives me Guardians of the Galaxy vibes with the way it moves. This totally a knockoff of the Haunted Mansion. I can't go on it anymore because I yell, you're not Disney. <laughs> So this might be a familiar face. Maybe that was a pink beard though. That's a new look for Egg Scramble. This is, <laughs> this is Big Mike. I'm gonna leave his socials down below. But he's actually coming on the trip with me too because we're really excited because we're going to a place that you love. Oh, you know I love it and I know they're gonna love oh, it. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. We're going to... Two. I wasn't gonna tell you just yet. We'll save that for a little bit. I am just wrapping up here. We had such a fun time. I saw so many cool and like unique Disney lounge flies. So that almost made me feel like I was in Disney. So did some of the rides. Oh, I miss it. We're not going to Disney. We're going somewhere fun though, with different kind of attractions, I guess you could say. <laughs> Probably should have touched up a little bit, but uh, this was fun. <laughs> this is what fun looks like, a day of fun. It was a really good time at Adventureland. Um, I met a couple of subscribers there, so that was really cool, and followers on my TikTok. So, so great to see you guys. I wanted to sit down really quick before I go through some of my packing and tell you where we're actually going. Sorry for that little tease there. <laughs> I had to keep you here. Um, so before I get to that, actually, I do want to answer some questions. So there's been a lot of confusion. What exactly I do? First of all, I just want to um, actually say that these have to stay on because my hair is a mess. <laughs> so um, I am a radio personality, not just here on Long Island, but multiple stations in the U.S. But for my Long Island radio station, I do afternoons and we're the Long Island's vacation station. So we partner with all these amazing places to send our listeners on vacation. That's like one of the coolest things about my job is not only going on some of these trips, but sending listeners on vacation. It's so cool. Yesterday I made a phone call. I sent uh, a really loyal listener and I know she's a subscriber to Karen to St. Pete Beach, Florida. We do probably at least one or two, sometimes three different trips a month. So we are very busy with that. So because of what I do, sometimes these trips are just, you give them out on the air, but sometimes they want you down there or out there, wherever, to promote it, to do your show live from there, or to take pictures and videos, do social media, speak from experience, uh, and promote the places. So it's so awesome when we get to do that. Not every trip is that. Um, so far this year, I went to Walt Disney World in February, which is my favorite place in the world. So that was awesome. And it was my birthday week. All those vlogs, I mentioned them earlier. They'll be in the description box below. Last year, I went to Mexico. Actually, it was like around this week last year. Um, and I think that was my most viewed video last year. That place was incredible. That whole trip was incredible. 
We went to Beaches, Turks, and Caicos. We went to Walt Disney World, Aulani. Oh, that has become another one of my favorite places in the world. Disney's Aulani Resort in Hawaii. Hopefully we go back there this year. Stay tuned. Um, so we work with Disney. We work with Beaches and Sandals. We work with Dreams, uh, Visit Florida, a whole bunch of places. We've done Disney Cruise. We've done a bunch of amazing once in a lifetime trips. Last year, I couldn't go to the place that I'm about to tell you that I'm going to due to health reasons. So I'm so excited that I got clearance to go this year. Sandals, Ochi, Jamaica and Ocho Rios, Jamaica. I was so bummed when I didn't go, get to go last year. And my coworker, Mike, when I tell you he's been there like five or six times and it's his favorite of the Sandals resorts, he is ecstatic that I finally get to go. I'm so excited to finally see it and do all these different excursions there. So, so cool. Actually, this is my first Sandals resort that I've ever gotten to go to. I've only been to beaches with them before and Beaches, Turks and Caicos is awesome. So I'm really excited to go to Sandals. Actually, some of the restaurants at Sandals are the same as beaches. So we will be vlogging that coming soon. I usually will take my twin sister on these trips if you're allowed a guest, I go to her first because she's my twin and I don't really ever get to see her back home because we have very different schedules. So traveling with her is my favorite thing. So I'll always give her first pick and then I talk to like my group of friends and my best friend Alyssa has gone on a lot of these with me and she is going to be going to Sandals Jamaica with me. Like I said, my coworker Big Mike is going to be there. I don't know if he has a guest actually. I don't know if we talked about that. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, all the trips blur together after a while, but we are so, so, so excited to go. I don't have my full itinerary as of yet, but I did have to order some stuff for this trip because we're going to be doing things I've never done before, like a waterfall excursion and tubing. Um, I think schedule wise, I can't do all the things. I'm hoping to swim with dolphins. I think that might be an option and that is a bucket list dream item for me. So hopefully we get to do that. Notice I have people enter from all over the country on these trips. And I really appreciate that if any of you have ever entered, but unfortunately, in order to qualify for these trips, you have to live on Long Island, either Nassau or Suffolk County. So I am so sorry about that. Giveaways here on my channel though, that's not the case, which we've got one coming soon. Oh, maybe I'll sh should I show it in this video? We'll see. I said I was going to show which lounge fly I was decluttering, and I haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll do that in this video, um, which was a part of my backpack haul and declutter that will be up in the eye and down below. Okay, speaking of like decluttering and stuff, I need to try on some stuff because I ordered a bunch of stuff for this trip, and I don't know if it fits. <laughs> So we will see. I might need your help narrowing some stuff down. Actually, I might be in Jamaica when this video is going up. So if I am, you can follow along in real time on Instagram and on TikTok. I have um, some fun ideas. We'll see if they play out when we're there. It's hard because like you're trying to relax and enjoy it. You're working and then you got to capture stuff and it, it, it could be a lot. So see just hung up my lounge fly that i used today oh i gotta put the strap things on totally forgot but i hang these up in a closet which i will show you guys my studio coming soon and you'll see how i store all my lounge flies but i just wanted to show this because i highly recommend putting the packaging that it comes in in because it holds its shape that way so just a tip oh hey fellers i got some compliments on these things today so i kind of wanted to share these here because i got a lot of questions about them the nedge peach um lip glowy balm i'm obsessed with this particular one i haven't tried the other ones but this stuff is so good this got me through my walt disney world trip as well but the lip combo i had on in the beginning of this video this cover girl lip liner i mean it's just okay i got a couple of questions about it but it's okay it's really the gloss that was the star of the show these buxom lip plumping lip creams this one is in dolly i believe yeah they were just um, on sale too with Ulta, so I got mine for $12 because these guys can get pricey, but I love, love, love these. Mine has worn off now because I was drinking a lot of water, I had lunch, a lot going on, talking, but um, no, I love this stuff so much. And then my favorite thing I get to share is my perfume. This is my personal favorite. Everyone knows this is my scent <laughs> at work. It's the Lancome Idol. 
Idale? I don't know how you pronounce it. Zendaya is the, the person on the commercial. But this baby right here, when I met Chris Evans at Comic-Con, I can link that video up in the eye down below, he hugged me and he told me I smelt amazing. And it was this. So Chris Evans approves. That's all you need to know about this baby. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so, um, I was just trying on stuff and putting stuff together. But um, had to put a halt to it. So this is this is a really chaotic vlog because uh, my dad just got rushed to the hospital. Well, like an hour ago. Um, but my glucose, I'm a type one diabetic, and my glucose is dropping. So I wanted to show with you, show with you guys, show you guys something that I do for like a quick dinner. That is like bomb.com. These spicy black bean burgers. They are 10 out of 10 so delicious and this is a newer thing for me but so far i'm really liking them if you've ever had like the breaded green beans they have at like applebee's this is it at home um and it's great because there's no dairy because i can't have that either lactose intolerant um and i can't have cheese because i'm allergic i'm super fun um but yeah this is a great meal and um just wanted to share with you guys because that's what vloggers do right i want to be like a real vlogger <laughs> and it's hard i don't actually there's there's a, there's a fox in my backyard are you kidding me just kidding, it's a cat that looks like a fox. We're, we're having a day. <laughs> also, if you want a little healthy dessert here, these keto veggies made great cinnamon roll muffins. I'm gonna try these for the first time. This is a, this is a new one for me. <laughs> nice see you. Cutie patootie. Now where are you going? Hi, Bandy. Good boy. Yeah, you little bunny. Wanna go inside? That win, yeah. It's many days later and we're finally packing, but I wanted to show off my brand new luggage. This has so many things I love. I have a Paris fascination. You guys, I gotta get to Disneyland Paris and Paris. So I'm manifesting it with the Disneyland Paris items I bought in Walt Disney World and the suitcase. I haven't even opened it yet, so we, we should probably do that. I feel like two stores in particular really contributed to um, my travel <laughs> ensemble this trip. Amazon definitely being one of them. These belts are from Amazon. They're like $12 and $14. I'll try to leave links for this stuff below if I can find them. But I got this like beigey one and a black one for these two dresses also from Amazon. This one is like a cold shoulder. They're both maxis. The material is so soft and they have pockets, but this definitely gives me, you know, tropical vibes. So does this one, which is short sleeves, again, with pockets. Love the colors on there. I'm very insecure about my upper arms, so I like to have some kind of a sleeve action going on. But I wish you could feel these. They're so soft and so beautiful. The other shop that really supplied a lot of the clothing for this trip is Torrid. I am a huge fan. They are very size inclusive. They start at a size medium, a zero, zero, which is what I am. Some things are a little big on me, but some things are perfect. Now, this dress is one of those things. The material on their stuff is so good. This, again, has pockets. It's soft. Again, I'm pairing it with the black belt and a little sweater, too. I have these in, I think, every color, and two of them are coming on this trip. This pink one is one of them. So they are a little bit see-through. They're very lightweight, but they just make me feel a little more comfortable and look how great it goes with the flamingos so I've worn these to weddings I mean I have it in black white blue a teal a purple a dark green <laughs> this one I love them so so much I also have the teal one that goes so nicely with this Amazon dress again kind of in the same material as those maxis I feel like this and that longer teal maxi from Amazon do run a little bit small so I got larges in this but it looks so nicely with this uh tour little sweater this one doesn't have pockets in which is kind of disappointing but it's so tropical and pretty so it's coming I have this torrid maxi too which kind of almost has like this like striped colorful design going on in the tropical flowers and it's got the pink and the teal in it so either sweater would go really nice again this is really soft and it has pockets i love these dresses i feel good in these dresses because like even if i eat a lot or i'm having issues with my stomach like it's gonna look good this is a cold shoulder kind of like a striped tie-dye i guess you could call it dress from torrid gonna pair really nicely with this belt because it is a little big it does look like a tent on me so i have to cinch it in a little bit i just gotta adjust the straps to make sure it's good but this is gonna be like one of those bonus dresses i bring 
and I pack all of my items in packing cubes. Huge shout out to this brand. You can get it on Amazon. Last time I checked, there was like a spring sale going on. I have like a space gray color. These are fantastic. They're compression packing cubes. I have Disney ones too I love, but I can't rave about these enough. And just like that, all six of the dresses, right? Six, yeah, fit in this one uh, compression packing cube. I'm gonna do another one with the sweaters and some of the work clothes that I'm bringing. Now for when I'm doing my radio show, I try to wear stuff with the walk logo on it if I can. And I got this really soft dress again from Amazon and has pockets. It's a tank, but I figured my walk shirt actually tied with it. Looks really cute because there is navy blue in the background and the colors kind of go and it's tropical yet professional. So it works. It's flowy, it's comfy. So this one has all my walk stuff, uh, an extra shirt for travel, and then this outfit that I've brought on trips before from Amazon that's just like if I need to change, if I'm like sweaty or whatever, it's just like a bonus outfit. And then I'm going to put the sweaters on top of this cube. Most complicated part of this trip is going to be the swimwear because we're doing a lot of water activities and I don't know what to wear. So first things first, we're doing like a waterfall hike and we need water shoes. So I just got these like white sneaker looking ones. This is the brand from Amazon. They're very lightweight. They supposedly dry fast and I thought these would look less, you know, water shoey <laughs> than other ones that we've had. I got this like workout swim dress in black. It's a really nice material. It's really supportive up top, which I need. And I ordered like a white sun shirt to go with it that I could just tie. I think it would be really cute for the waterfall hike or even for tubing. I love swim dresses on these trips because I have to make sure things are like covered and looks presentable because I will be photographed in a swimsuit. Everyone's dream. <laughs> Um, so this one I brought to Turks in October. It's from Amazon. I love it. So I have this one piece. I want to say it's from Target and I got black like swim shorts. I ordered so many on Amazon. They didn't look right. And believe it or not, I got this pair from Five Below. There's literally a Five Below below my radio station. So I'm going to put this on top of it. And then I have a black zip up swim shirt and also this swim shirt, both from Amazon that I'm bringing. Then I have this swim dress from Torrid with this matching like tie cover up that I think I'll be bringing as well for like a casual pool day. And then two other swim dresses from Torrid. I've had this one for a minute. This one's pretty new and I have a like swim dress to go over it that it's the same print and I love these swim dresses so much. Okay, it's probably way too many shoes, but here we go. These were from Amazon and they work really nicely with the walk shirts because of the navy blue. They're not my favorite shoe in the world, but if anything happens to them, I won't be crushed. These were from JCPenney a million years ago. Sometimes they're a little big on me, I feel, but they do go with a lot. These are all super comfortable. These are these are probably the most comfortable, but like not my favorite, <laughs> but these go with a lot. Um, and like I said, they're super comfortable from Amazon. These are from the Alfani. So I think they're from Macy's. Uh, another white one when I'm not wearing silver because my whites have to match. Is that, that might be a little bit much. These were also from Amazon. Um, these are a great trip shoe, super, super comfortable. And then these are from Amazon as well. I've never worn these yet, but I bought for this trip because I thought these are a little nicer than these, you know? Oh, and when it comes to flip-flops, I swear by these, the reefs. I have these in so many colors. Love them. Okay, I took two out, and I always pack shoes in these blue bags. I love these blue bags. Always got to have Disney with me wherever I go. Another brand you guys know I love, if you've been with the channel for a minute, is Vera Bradley. This is a pill organizer. It doesn't fit all my vitamins, but it fits all my meds, which I am super excited about. And it feels like it's waterproof too, which is awesome. Another favorite travel things that I'm packing is this laundry bag. It folds up, but then you can put all your laundry in it and it's fantastic when traveling and also these makeup washcloths I wear a tube of mascara the only way to get it off is hot water so instead of dirtying their towels I got this so easy to wash so soft and I got a black one that says makeup so they don't get it confused with theirs when they're cleaning the room changing my phone case out for the trip too I'm going with a more subtle one I know the pop socket's kind of loud but I have to have a little bit of Disney but I love this case very protective from Amazon I feel like it kind of went with the black it looks nicer in person this was the one I had on I'm a big pop socket girl this is an Otterbox case from Amazon but it is like I've had it for like two years and then this pop socket was from it was a birthday gift actually from a friend but it kind of went so love my pop sockets I'm like about to cry happy tears right now. 
It is April 4th. I'm getting on a plane Saturday, <laughs> like basically tomorrow because it's really early Saturday for my next broadcast. And I just finished the Walt Disney World blogs. So they're gonna be in the description box below. This last one made me cry, the Luminous Fireworks Show. I am who I am. Also speaking of crying, so Disney released a bunch of stuff today. A lot of it had to do with the shareholders meeting, but the audio animatronics from Tiana's Bayou Adventure, have you seen them? I'm excited. I was always excited about this. I was kind of, you know, bummed because I grew up with Splash Mountain and Zippity Doodah and Br'er Fox, Br'er Bravrid and Br'er Bear. I remember seeing them. So I was like a little upset when they said they were redoing this, but this looks absolutely incredible. And hopefully, hopefully it's opening soon and we'll be there. Fingers crossed. I got the alpha plan. So like, I feel like it has to happen. Manifestation. <laughs> I finally have my toiletries packed. I have my two bags from Bagsmart. You can get them on Amazon. These are great. So I have a lot of skincare. This is probably not what the normal person has, but I put all my makeup brushes in there. I love that they're separate and this can be washed. And then in here, I basically have them separate, separate, separate from daytime stuff, nighttime stuff, and then like uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, poopery and you share a bathroom deodorant um and then i just kind of put some of my other stuff on top um, that are important as well and then this is my makeup again i'm going for work so this is probably more than any one person brings i'll show you some highlights here um again this bag has a separate zip thing and since my brushes are in the other one this is for like um concealer an eye pencil brush mascara that kind of stuff but let's see some stuff. Okay, this was sent to me and I had seen this on the uh, TikTok. I've only worn it twice and yes, it was super blurring. So I'm going to bring this. But I think for the most part, what I'm going to be using is the Tower 28. I love this stuff so much. It's a tinted SPF, but they're perfect when you're going to tropical islands. Now, this stuff is pretty new to me, Kosas. So I used this today, loved that sunscreen. And then there's like a bronzing one, which honestly, I don't know if it's going to work for my face, but for my pale legs here in New York, that's going to be great. Um, this is my perfume. I talked about this earlier in the vlog, I believe. This is going to be my lotion. This is old packaging, I know. Um, bye, bye, bye. Bring this back, number seven. This was the best powder ever. Rocking the Milani Luminoso. I love that one. Uh, ba, ba, ba. These liners from Sephora are amazing. I think I talked about uh, one of these buxom glosses earlier in the vlog. This one is, what is this, mudslide? Yeah, Dolly's going in my travel bag. This is my Shiseido eyelash curler. This stuff's amazing. But really what does it for my lashes is the Hourglass Unlocked. What is it called? It's this baby. The Hourglass Unlocked uh, Instant Extensions Mascara. This stuff is just, oh, I love it so much. Concealer, we have two uh, Shiseido and Natasha Denona. Then I have NYX Glitter Glue, hoping my eyeshadows will stay a little bit better, which speaking, uh, help me narrow it down. I don't know why this is such a challenge for me. They're basically the same, but here we have the Makeup by Mario. Uh, I forgot what the name of this is. <laughs> we could just do that etherealize yes um this palette is as good as everyone says i really do love it uh in fact i have a backup one because it is a limited edition palette and it's so so good i feel like you do need the nyx glitter glue though for me personally to get some of the shadows here to stay a little bit more so that's an option and then these two mini natasha denona ones so we have like a pinkier one and then like um i guess this is like a beigeier one i just don't know though Honestly, looking at them, it might be this one. Ooh, this is going to eat up at me all night. And I also want to say this is amazing for my fellow dry skin girlies that after you get out of the pool or water and your skin is just like crawling, it's so dry, you spray this. It is a lifesaver. I cannot travel without it. Whenever I'm going in a pool, yeah, this is by my side. All right, I think we're going with this one because even though these are tiny, I mean, it's like almost the same. I mean, it's not, but <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to go with this one. I feel like I can just do maybe a little bit more with this, maybe.
Okay, Makeup by Mario is in there. So what I love about this, it like folds up like this, but then when you go to put it on your counter, it opens up, which is just great because I need to see everything. Couple more Vera things to add to the lineup of stuff we're taking. This Vera tote is brand new to me. Um, I'm actually gonna, I think, take this as my tote. I thought this would be a good work bag. And when we go on our water excursions, cause it is, can get water. Uh, it's waterproof. <laughs> Use your words, Christina. And then I have my uh, passport holder as well from the Little Mermaid collection. It's still my fave collection they've done. This, uh, this has been a week. This video did not go as planned. Um, wanted to film more today but we had an earthquake so we're all okay nothing major happened but um definitely had some issues so i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this video while you're watching this i am probably in jamaica so stay tuned for a vlog coming soon and lots more disney magic is coming your way as well i wanted to focus more on it in this video but um life happens man thank you so much for watching i hope you are doing well and staying safe and i will talk to you really soon i am christina k have a disney day